Hey, welcome back in life. And I want to open with this statement. It's not inconceivable that some Chinese smartphone manufacturers copy the design of Apple. They've done it before. And to be honest, Apple is the pioneer in the smartphone industry. And ever since 2007, every smartphone manufacturer copied Apple's design in some way. However, this year's Xiaomi Mi 8 dwarfed all the other companies active copying blatantly copied all significant features of the iPhone 10. And if you think about it, Chinese companies seem to do it year after year and miraculously get away with it, while Samsung suffers billions of dollars in loss due to its copyright infringement lawsuits. So, so how does that work? How does companies like Xiaomi get away with such blatant copying of Apple's design? Well, the first reason is that if you think about it, Apple and Xiaomi do not have competing interest. This is very important. Both companies are for-profit companies, and if winning a lawsuit makes Apple a billion dollars more a year, of course Apple would do it. Xiaomi will not get away with copying Apple. However, the truth is, Xiaomi smartphones and the iPhones have two sets of totally different audiences. For starters, the prices are hugely different. The most premium Xiaomi smartphone sells for $450, and the iPhone sells for $1,000. Here's a complete list of Xiaomi and Apple's products. If you list all of them by their prices, it will look something like this. Obviously, Xiaomi is on the mid to low end of phones and Apple is on the high end of phones. So because of the price, they're targeting two different demographics. Secondly, Xiaomi's audiences mostly live in China and India, while Apple's audiences mostly live in America and Europe. This explains why Xiaomi Mi 8 is not even launched in America. You cannot find an advertisement video of Mi 8 on YouTube, and for someone who lives in the United States, you can't even buy it if you want to. Therefore, the geographic of their audiences are also different. Xiaomi is competing against Vivo, Oppo, and Samsung in China and India in the budget smartphone space. Apple is completely absent in the budget smartphone space. Its two-year-old iPhone 7 starts at $550, while the brand new Xiaomi Mi 8 sells for $450. That's why Apple does not have a competitive relationship with Xiaomi, and this is why if you look into the lawsuits Apple had in the past years, it's almost always against Samsung. Because in the premium smartphone space, Apple's real competitors are Samsung Galaxies and Google Pixels. This flows naturally to my second and the most important point. Apple's capability is much more than what meets the eye. While the media is rightfully outraged by Xiaomi's action with articles like this, they often fail to explain the problem that cuts deeper to the bone. Xiaomi is simply not a match to Apple in terms of their capabilities. When we look at the smartphone industry, we often get distracted by smartphone designs and its specs, but smartphones are almost never sold because of better specs. It's a combination of things, marketing, distribution, manufacturing, retail, so on and so forth. Apple starts with the coding language Swift, ends with Apple's control over its retail stores. It's nothing short of a dictatorship. Have you realized that Apple disables all comments under its YouTube videos in order to have full control over its marketing and advertisement? No other smartphone manufacturers have such great control over its products. Here are the categories of things Apple controls. See if you can think of any other smartphone original equipment manufacturers that has the same level of control. Can you think of any? That's right, there is none. Even Apple's closest competitors can't dream to control the entire value chain like Apple does. Samsung has very strong hardware department, but it has no control whatsoever over its software operating systems. Neither does Samsung have control over its Play Store, its chipset, coding language, and platform. On the other hand, Google has control over the software and the coding language, but it has little influence over manufacturing and hardware. It must contract LG, HTC, Huawei to make phones for it. And because those companies prioritize producing their own smartphones over Google Pixels, as a result, there is not enough Google Pixels produced in the market. In 2017, Google sold 3.9 million Pixel phones and Apple sold 216 million iPhones. The reason why this happens is that Google has no manufacturing and distribution capability to make and deliver Google Pixels. Also, Google are still far away in terms of its capability to make chipset, to build a network of global retail stores, and so on. 
Therefore, if Google and Samsung can't compete with Apple on those fronts, Xiaomi is surely far off. As much as I know, Huawei is the only Chinese company that can make its own chipset. Xiaomi will have to buy it from Qualcomm. Furthermore, these types of capabilities take years to develop. Building a physical store, fostering strong relationship with original equipment manufacturers, putting effort into the research and development of proprietary technologies like the chipset. So although Xiaomi is able to copy the looks of an iPhone, it can hardly copy the capability of Apple. Lastly, pragmatic problems come into play. Xiaomi is pretty good at selling products and it's one of the leading Chinese companies in the age of internet, right after Alibaba, Tencent and Baidu. Therefore, it's not pragmatic to sue Xiaomi in China, especially not over some ambiguous design patents. The Chinese government protect local industries like semiconductor. While some of you guys have pointed out that Apple could sue Xiaomi in the United States, the enforcement of those fines would be a big problem because Xiaomi does not directly sell to the United States. Therefore, at the end of the day, Apple is not stupid. If it has anything to gain by waging a legal war against Xiaomi, it would. It has been ignoring Xiaomi's blatant copying of its design simply because there's nothing to gain by suing Xiaomi. Think about it. If Apple were to sue Xiaomi and Xiaomi were to lose, this would effectively create a vacuum in the $100 to $500 smartphone market and Vivo, Oppo, and worst of all, Samsung was simply filling that gap, making Samsung stronger and hence making life harder for Apple itself. Therefore, it's probably better to leave Xiaomi alone and allow it to compete with Samsung in the low-end market while Apple continues to dominate the $1,000 very lucrative high-end market. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, I conducted a poll asking you guys whether it's okay for Xiaomi to copy Apple. To my surprise, many of you guys actually think it's okay. Some say it fosters creativity. Many says, you know, there's just nothing you can do about it in China. And uh, I'll have two well thought out comments uh, highlighted right here and you can pause the video to read it if you want. They make pretty good points. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to these people for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, it's really wonderful to see the community grow. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you're welcome to do so. All right. Thumbs if you like this video, subs if you love this channel. As always, I'm Lei. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.